Hi, my name is Dion and I am the owner and founder of Kimami Mosaics. I'm also working in collaboration with the Coco Collective and today I'll be showing you how to make a mosaic table using upcycled materials. Let's get started. Okay, so for this project I'm going to be working on this table base here. So it's a nice unusual shape and I picked this up as part of a set and it was actually um, on sale so I'm really privileged to have this. I got this for under £10 for two tables. Um, the other table head is a little bit bigger than this but we're going to be working on this one today and I'm going to show you now the materials that I'm going to be using to make this wonderful project. So here I've got some old tiles a hammer, some PVA glue, sponge, my gloves and grout for later on, and of course my tabletop. So I'm going to firstly start off by smashing the tiles into some irregular shapes. So I've sandwiched the, them in between my towel and I'm just going to use my hammer to break these up. And I've used these particular tiles because they were some leftover tiles that I had in my garage. You can pick up these tiles, I guess, from the skip or from leftover tiling projects. Don't throw them away. We don't want to add to the landfill. We want to reduce the landfill. <laughs> so keep your old kitchen tiles and you can do some projects similar to this. Once I've done that, I've got my pieces all nicely broken up. I'm just going to now play around with the design on my tabletop. So I'm not sticking at this stage, just placing some tiles down and just basically feeling my way through as to what design I'd like to create. Here I've decided to add some white to the table and I'm just uh, measuring the size, the depth of tiles to make sure that they're okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same process and smash them. It's worth mentioning here about the tile options you can have whilst making your table. I've obviously chosen uh, kitchen tiles here because they are nice and chunky and you can easily use a hammer to break them. But if you wanted to go a little bit more sophisticated you can choose mosaic tiles and you will use a specialist equipment for those. I'm actually using some tile nippers in this video which we'll see a bit later on just to neaten up the edges and um, to fit the spaces where some tiles don't fit very well. So I'm using tar nippers in this shot because I wanted the this particular piece to be nice and smooth and fit on the edge of the table really nicely. But if you don't have tar nippers, then what you'd simply do is use the hammer and break up into smaller pieces. So here I am adding the very last tile to the mosaic table and I thought I'd add a little pop of orange just to finish it off, just for something different. 
and uh, yeah I hope it works at the end we shall see is now ready for grouting the final stage the tiles are dry and ready to go I've mixed up my grout which is nice and smooth and creamy it's a bit like buttermilk and I've chosen black because I wanted to have a little bit more drama on this particular piece but you can choose white or grey that equally works as well there's no airs and graces about using grout so you just basically plonk it on and smooth it into the spaces of your mosaic. So here I'm using a rubber kidney which is um, a tool that is often used by potters but you could use a spatula, an old store card, or anything that's got a little bit of flexibility to it. Once that's done, I'm going to now move on to the edges of my table because I want to make sure it's finished off nice and neatly. So I'm going to fill the sides there with the leftover grout and just doing this as neatly as I can. I've also taped the bottom of the table so I don't get any grout on top of that. But if you do accidentally get some grout on there, you can easily kind of wipe it off and sand it off if you don't particularly want that colour on there and paint it afterwards. If you have any leftover grout, you can be resourceful with it and use it as tiles. So what you do is as it starts to dry, you can roll it up into little balls or you could perhaps squash it down into small little tile shapes or you could roll it like a, a little sausage and you can let them dry completely and you can use them as tiles or additions to a new project so that way you're not wasting any grout. Once you've completely finished your mosaic and it's all covered, allow it to sit for about 15 minutes until you see a light haze and then grab a clean cloth and clean off all that grout. The mosaic is now complete and I've allowed it to dry overnight and given it a final polish and that's it ready for use. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I do hope that you've learned a few things and that you are more conscious about your leftover tiles please don't discard them. Think about upcycling them into a project similar to this, or maybe you want to jazz up your bathroom or kitchen. So I am Dion and I'm from the Coco Collective. Coco Collective underscore org is our handle. You can find us on Instagram and on Facebook. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.